Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the most surprising of the top 1,000 ratings that EA released yesterday on their website. I want to talk through some of those cards and just maybe kind of say what rating surprised me the most, position changes, uh, upgrades, downgrades, all that kind of stuff. Just look through the biggest surprises as some of those top 1,000 ratings that were released. Again, on the same ratings website where they released the top 100, you can now go down here to the bottom and instead of just having five pages, there are 25 full pages of cards. So as you can imagine, the squad building has begun, the cheap beasts are beginning to be found, and we still don't have the entire database. This is only the top 1,000 players. So I think if you go to page 25, it stops at like level or uh, 77 or 76 rated cards. So. There's still some cards out there that we that might be cheap beasts that we haven't even found yet. So that's just something to keep in mind yet as well. Uh, we probably won't see those cards until the full game actually releases, uh, which might actually put us at a little bit of a disadvantage for trading purposes in terms of we can't see the entire database and we can't look for all of the, you know, the left backs, right backs, center backs, outside wing players, some of the SPC fodder cards that might be good to trade with at the start of the year. We won't actually get to see all the different cards that fall in that whole gamut of like a gold left back or gold player, you know, for SBCs that come out at the start of the year. So that's interesting uh, that we still haven't got all of that yet, but this is the way they're uh, returning, they're, they're choosing to do it. So hopefully we get the full collection at some point soon. But first thing I want to show you is we're on page 10, I think. I want to show you all of the downgrades that are just on this page. I just opened up to this random page and I started seeing all of these downgrades. Check this out. Falcao, 80 rated, down from an 83. Miranda, down from an 83 to an 80. There's a lot of 83 rated cards last year. They got a minus three. Diego Costa, David Luiz, both were 83s last year. Uh, there's another one down here, I think. Ilora Mendy was an 83 or 84, down to an 80 rated. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff that happened. Willian Jose was an 83. Now he's down to an 80. There were a lot of those downgrades that happened this year. But what I specifically want to look at are some cards today uh, that had ratings that are, you know, more well-known cards or some position changes or stuff like that. And I just want to look at a lot of those cards in today's video. Lacazette, right? This is the first one. 86 rated card last year in FIFA 20. 86 rated striker card gets a minus three. And now, in my opinion, becomes a lot more unusable than his card that he had last year. If we go check out his 86 rated, if I can freaking click on it, EA Sports. Um, maybe not, whatever. But his 86 rated card last year, this Lacazette is honestly not unusable, but he's gonna be kind of unusable. He's probably only gonna be around 10 to 15K, maybe 20K to start the game because he just doesn't have that pace. He's well-rounded, maybe for like a center attack in mid, I guess, uh, but doesn't really look the best. And one thing I will say is, EA really messed up today with the weak foot and skill move uh, for a lot of these cards. Obviously, uh, some of them are correct. A lot of the weak foot uh, for some players do look correct, but a lot of these, these skill moves are incorrect. Uh, as you're seeing on some of these players, it says Diego Costa has a five-star skills. That is incorrect. They acknowledge that themselves, and they are going to be updating it soon. So that's just something to kind of keep out there. I like using FootWiz for looking at all these players because I think they just look the cleanest. And it looks the best in my opinion. So let's start looking through a few of these cards. Again, Lacazette again, minus three, big downgrade. But it's not like we're losing a Prem Striker that a lot of people used last year. Some people used him. Uh, but there's just way more Prem Striker. And as you're going to see in general, Premier League, for a lot of these starter squads and OP teams at the start, Premier League is the way to go in terms of there's so many transfers and so many usable FIFA cards that are coming out of the Premier League this year. It's crazy. Let's step into a big upgrade. Portu going from an 80 to an 83 rated card. And this card right here to me looks really, really meta. The only thing that he's lacking is a little bit of agility and balance for the right side, but he's got pace, great stamina. I honestly like that aggression stat for tacklebacks uh, on the right side. But this is a great looking right wing kind of card. Now this is his card from last year. He had three star skills, four star weak foot. The four star weak foot's huge. Uh, obviously you'd like to see the four star skills, especially if he's trying to skill in from the wing, but this guy was a center forward last year, 80 rated. It's a plus nine pace boost. This is one of those cards that has gone against what normally happened last year. Um, or, or this year that the ratings have been a lot. There's been a lot of pace downgrades. This is a card that's actually gone up a lot in terms of pace, big time upgrade plus nine 
pace going from a center forward to a right wing. So this is going to be in a lot of people's starter squads. I think this is a good card to go after. He's probably not going to be that expensive. Could give you some nice value if you're running a La Liga starter team with this card right here. That's a big upgrade that we've seen so far. Here's a big downgrade. Jesse Lingard going from an 82, a minus 5 for Jesse Lingard going from an 82 all the way down to a 77 rated card. Now his individual stat downgrades are not even like down five. Like he's down three pace, down four shot, down uh, two passing, down five uh, dribbling. So that's a pretty big drop. But his defense stayed the same in minus two physical, but his face stat goes down five for his FIFA 21 card, which is very, very interesting um, as a, uh, you know, Maybe a guy that didn't play as much last year in the Prem, uh, but maybe you would say this is deserved, but still it's crazy that he gets a minus five. That was one of the biggest things that was noticed, a big surprise for that card with the minus five rating. Let's move on. Lucas Klosterman. I put him in here because of the position change. Last year, he was a right back. People did use him a little bit at the start of the game last year, uh, but he just didn't really fit the meta. Six foot two as a right back. You'll, there's another guy I'm going to talk about with this. Uh, where it's just not as meta to have that type of player build in that position. But this year he switches to center back. Six foot, two, medium, medium work rates. Of course, you'd like medium high, uh, but that's a great card. And this guy is in so many of the starter teams that you guys have been sending me on Twitter and in the stream today when I was looking at starter teams. This guy was everywhere. And this guy's going to be overpriced at the start. He's going to drop off fast. I know I've made this I've made this comparison so many times already in all my videos, but this is going to be an exact replica. If you want to know what this guy's price is going to do over the first couple of days, check out Joe Gomez because Joe Gomez from last year rose up and then dropped down because people moved on from his card and he got packed a lot. Same thing is going to happen with this Klosterman. 80 rated card, similar stats to what Joe Gomez had last year. Now, is he, he's probably going to be somewhere around like that 10K range, I could say. Maybe even a little bit less than that. A solid starter center back. But you would not expect to really make coins on this card um, unless you're buying him day one and selling him day three, four, five. He's probably going to drop soon after the, that early access comes out or the full game release. You're going to see this guy dropping in price for sure just because he is low rated. But he did get a position change, as did Mukiele. But this one's kind of going backwards right last year Mukiele and Upamecano were two of the most touted starter squad center backs in FIFA 20 right great starter player medium medium work rates a lot of people love to use it him and Upamecano last year at the start of the game this year Mukiele gets an upgrade so he goes from a 77 to an 80 rated gets a really nice pace boost but with those work rates and with his body type Probably not going to be that usable as a right back this year in the Bundesliga. As a French right back, he is one of the best technically, but I would not expect this card to be very meta. I honestly, honestly wouldn't uh, because the meta is probably going to be about the same as last year. And having having a tall right back like that, I mean, unless you're going to like do a start in a four back and then move to a three back in game, this wouldn't really be the type of guy that you probably want to have as a right back in your squad just because of his... Uh, his, his his player build and how not really meta that is as a right back in FIFA. So unless, you know, crossing and heading comes into play, I doubt like really tall right backs are going to be used. Uh, it just doesn't fit the meta really this game. So, but that was one um, upgrade actually that I wanted to kind of cover because it was interesting with the position change. Let's move on one more time. Felipe Anderson, 81 rated, getting a minus three from last year. Now he did have a team of the season inside of FIFA 20, but that was because it was a community team of the season and it wasn't actually something that he like earned, I guess you could say. So minus three for Felipe Anderson, but here's the biggest surprise with this card. Check out the smallest of differences in stats. Barely got any individual stat downgrades, right? Pace stays the same. Dribbling goes down two. Shooting goes down two. Passing goes down one. Defense and physical stay the same. So we went my, down three, minus three in terms of total rating, but he had no individual stats that even went down that far. Minus two on shooting was the biggest and dribbling were the biggest downgrades in his individual stats. So this is a pretty good looking card is a prem left mid Brazilian links. If you need those links, this, this guy's probably going to be decently cheap and he's going to fit the meta decently well. High agility, high balance. Of course, he's going to get overshadowed 
uh, by the likes of Alan St. Maximin, who is now at left wing as well. There's so many left wings in the Prem that we've been continually talking about. That's going to make this card cheaper, in my opinion, and even better to start off the game with if you need a Brazilian left mid. This guy's going to look pretty good. Now, let's talk about maybe a hybrid squad you might be looking at, and a link to this card you might want is a big upgrade, Renan Lodi, the left back from Atletico. Big time upgrade, very his future stars card was used a lot inside of FIFA 20. A lot of people like that card, and uh, he is getting a big upgrade from the 77 rated card that he had last year. Uh, the pace stays the same on a plus four boost, but around the rest of the card, uh, he got a decent boost in the defending and in the physical stats. He got a plus two, plus three, and a plus two in dribbling as well. So a plus four overall, but again, smaller boosts in terms of the individual stats. I honestly just think that's EA preparing to release more special cards this year, leaving themselves the open door of opportunity to be able to boost cards where they put out more promos, more special cards. That's why we're seeing some of the smaller um, boosts. When we get a plus four or plus five even in total rating, the cards' individual stats aren't going up by plus four or five. It's more plus twos, plus threes, just because they're trying to kind of give, give themselves that buffer. If the player does play very well IRL, gets a lot of informs, other special cards, they kind of have that ratio in there where they can, you know, not make the card too meta or get it too high rated too fast if they have a great year. So Renan Lodi, though, looks like a really solid starter left back. I'm sure he was used a lot last year. It looks like he was decently expensive to start off the year, 5,000 coins early on. Um, well, this was his, uh, that was his UCL card. And I don't think those came out right away, but looking back, uh, yeah, he was actually a thousand coins. This guy was really, really cheap last year. That's a great start of left back. He might be a little bit more expensive this year, uh, especially with Marcelo didn't getting downgraded. And of course, um, Ferland Mendy being a lot more meta than he was last year as well. This guy might be a bit more expensive. Great looking card though. And then last one is Dest. Now, of course, some of the cards, and, and this is the last point I want to make as well, some of these cards that are inside of the database don't have their correct clubs. Like, I think Allen still shows at Napoli. Um, I think Doherty still shows at Wolves. Dest is supposedly now going to uh, Barcelona, and Semedo is going to go to Wolves or something like that. So uh, just be careful with some of these as you're creating starter teams. Maybe go and quick check on, you know, another website and say, hey, has this player transferred? Or maybe you go, you go check Fabrizio Romano's Twitter if there's been a here we go. I think the here we go for Dest came today. He is going to Barcelona. So this is going to actually be an American at Barcelona. So he's not going to have um, Ajax links, but he is going to have La Liga links. So this was a big upgrade from him last year as well. Went from a 67 to a 75. So a plus eight in rating and only a plus two in pace. It is what it is. Plus two physical, plus six defense, plus uh, six dribbling, plus 10 shooting and plus 10 passing. So got big upgrades in the shooting, passing and uh, dribbling categories. That's probably not going to be that great of a starter right back. But since Semedo is on his way out, maybe you, if you're looking at a starter right back in La Liga, maybe you go for this guy. This guy's probably going to be pretty cheap, a little bit slower than those, but really great physical. And uh, maybe if you boost that defense up with a chem style, it'll be a bit more applicable and usable in game. So again, have fun, man. Look out on the latest FIFA 21 players list here. Uh, or they have like, I think, most popular FIFA 21 players. These are cards are getting searched up a lot. You'll find a lot of the OP meta cards in here. Of course, Marcus Llorente, we knew about his card. Where Charleston looks pretty solid. Um, Rashika position change looks pretty dope. Teixeira looks very OP. Um, Militao being 80 rated. Upamakano looking like a great starter card. Um, even this cost is, I talk about this on stream today, that as a position change center mid looks awesome, like incredibly insane in my opinion. Uh, now some of these other cards, Morales is a new one we didn't know before. Um, we got the rating for Manolas today, Kunde. A lot of these guys did get some downgrades, uh, but there's a lot of cards that are out there to look at, man. So if you guys have anything you want me to look at in particular, let me know down in the comments. But I wanted to kind of just bring you this video today and talk to you about the database and everything that came out. And of course, all of these new ratings that we are getting. Send me your starter teams on Twitter. I'm going to probably have a video soon about making some, some, some starter teams and showing you some pretty good cheap beast starter squads that you might be able to make inside of FIFA 21 as we get towards that web app time period. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.
out. Jokey 